Hello YouTube. Um, I'm gonna make this video about uh, Quicksilver alternatives. As for me, um, on the Mac side, I stopped using Quicksilver. Um, I've actually been a pretty big uh, Quicksilver fan. I started using Quicksilver the moment I uh, got my Mac. Um, the moment I tried using it, it just was well, just really intuitive. Everything just worked. I would launch. I would just search for my folders or whatever I wanted to search for. And then it even remembers my search results. So if I keep searching those keystrokes, um, it could refine those um, uh, search results, which was pretty nice. Also, like Quicksilver, as you can make your own triggers, which are custom keyboard shortcuts. Um, so you you could also uh, make custom folder searches as well. So Quicksilver had a lot of features, but um, I've been looking for alternatives to Quicksilver as the developers stopped developing it. On a small note, that a uh, Quicksilver developer is working on a Quicksilver-like app as part of Google. I tried it, it's not very appealing. Here I can show you in Safari. Um, yeah, it's called uh, Google Quick Search. It's for a Mac, and as you can see some of the screenshots. It has some resemblance to Quicksilver, but in my opinion, it's just a pretty basic search app, so we can uh, search your um, websites or bookmarks or Gmail or things like that but it doesn't offer a lot of the functionality that Quicksilver offered so I wasn't very impressed by that so I'm mainly looking for free solutions and not paid solutions um, paid solutions would be things like launch bar or things like that so I haven't really used launch bar I haven't tried it out so I can't say much about it uh, what I can say about is Butler I have tried it and it's free I actually use it twice um, I think that it provides a lot of customization, but it takes a lot of time to master. I could never use um, Butler very effectively, so in the end, I stopped using it uh, and installed it. Um, so when you're looking for alternatives for uh, Quicksilver, it depends a lot on what you use Quicksilver for. For me, for uh, I use Quicksilver for number one, application and folder launching. Um, I also have a custom list of folders which I want to launch. Uh, I also use a custom trigger or hotkey to open up specific folders on the finder which you can't do as you have to keep clicking the finder to open finder windows which is pretty annoying okay so number one application launching this um, is pretty obvious you just use um, spotlight for example I want to open up word I just uh, type word and here it is it's opening up I'm gonna try and force quit this first yeah, so Spotlight is a pretty good application launcher. Just note then, if you do use Spotlight, it's good to refine your searches um, by putting more folders in a privacy list. I actually like the old uh, Quicksilver features where you can enable and disable folders um, in the catalog, but you can't do that for uh, Spotlight. So what I did was I just put in a lot of folders and things that I didn't really need into the privacy section and it really helped uh, refine my search results. I made the mistake of um, putting out the user library. Don't do that or else um, Spotlight won't be able to search your contacts because your contacts are in that library. Um, just a small note there. Part two is the custom folder launching. So this was the hardest part um, to accomplish in my opinion using another application. Um, Butler has similar functionality but uses like a list system to search for and open up fi uh, files but I didn't really like how you have to go through folders um, in order to uh, open up the folders you wanted. Uh, one way would be to use stacks. I have one stack here for my download which I access pretty often though obviously it only works up to a point as if you have too many stacks your doc starts to get cluttered. Now I have found an application that helped me in this phase and it's called a lunch it's a Japanese application which might explain the name but yeah here you can see part of it uh, th I this is part of Mac update probably if you just search for a lunch you'll get it yeah a lunch it's really a lunch I'm not sure why but yeah it's called a lunch I'm um, talking more about a lunch I'm probably gonna do a separate app review of it as it has a lot of things to be talked about in my opinion so I'm gonna talk about a lunch in a later video okay so as you can see here, um, it pretty much resides in the menu bar. You just click the icon and you can set your own groups of folders. It's really easy to use. You can set whatever you want here and it's pretty customizable. 
Um, what I've done is I've used its hotkey feature and I've replaced Quicksilver. For Quicksilver, I use Command Space, which I think was the default one. And personally, you can uh, set pretty much any uh, two hotkey uh, shortcuts um, in the preferences. So for me, I have set to Command Space. And here you can see this a uh, Quicksilver like window, which it, but it's not really like Quicksilver as you can't uh, really scroll through it or anything like that, like tab through or whatever. Um, <clears throat> okay, so here I have like a quick launch. They call it a quick launch window, and these are the things that I put into my quick launch group. Um, you can customize this obviously. These are some of the folders or files that I access frequently. This is of course an alternative way to Quicksilver search it requ uh, requires a bit more labor but I think it's more worth in the end as um, I think that a lunch actually uses about half the memory Quicksilver uses um, and a lunch also launches Quicksilver does at startup so again to show this hit set preferences um, I, these are actually called groups and within each group I have some folders which I've included and this is actually the quick launch, um, I guess, group, you could call it, that uh, opens up when I do command space. Okay, so number three is custom hotkeys. Now, a very handy feature in Quicksilver is using custom hotkeys or triggers where you can make a custom keyboard shortcut for folders, applications, etc. For me, I only use a shortcut to open up the Finder as I didn't want to uh, keep pressing the Finder icon dock. I think it's pretty annoying if you keep pressing it. So, um, I haven't really found a way around this uh, other than to find the Finder application and add it to my A Launch Quick Launch group. And by default, it opens up to my documents, which is good enough for me. But um, you should be able to set what folder it um, is and the preferences for Finder. Now currently in Leopard, there are no keyboard shortcuts to open up Finder. When you're not in the Finder itself, if you are in the Finder, you can press Command N to open a new Finder window. I haven't found a way around this um, other than the quick launch thing. Um, note that in Windows, if you press Windows E, it opens up Windows Explorer. I hope that in 10.6 Snow Leopard, they'll include like a similar feature where if you press a keyboard shortcut, it'll open up the Finder, but we'll see. So about this new uh, workflow that I have, like with the A lunge and Spotlight and everything, it takes a bit of time to get used to it, but I, in my opinion, it's worth it. With Snow Leopard around the corner, you never know how compatible Quicksilver is going to be, so it's good to go with this um, route or with another route where you go with a Butler or Launch Bar or whatever app you like to use. Um, in my opinion, this app is more responsive than Quicksilver, though obviously it lacks a lot of the features that Quicksilver has, whether it's triggers or uh, custom folders or things like that. This is not a search app. This one is manual, where you can just uh, manually access your folders. You have to uh, put in the folders yourselves. You can't just search for them, unlike um, Quicksilver. It's a bit more labor-intensive, but I think it works out in the end. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have any questions about a launch or anything, um, just comment the video, ask me any questions you want. I'm on Twitter too, so I'm at www.twitter.com slash pickletweet, so you can see me there as well. Um, so in the end, thanks for watching.